Hello, Granville High School. My name is uh, Wilbur Whitman, and I'm here from uh, Delaware, in Middletown, Delaware, to uh, talk with you about your performance in the National Jazz Festival. I've been up all night doing the, uh, the different bands, and uh, took a little nap this morning, and I just thought I'd start my uh, video presentations with you guys. I really enjoyed your program. I thought it was quite eclectic and very jazzy. Uh, Alan Baylock is one of my favorite composers. I've played his charts with my bands for years, and um, I was very impressed with you guys doing that. It has quite a bit of dissonance in it, as you know, and uh, one of the comments I made on there is I want you to play the dissonance um, in tune also. So check your pitches when you have like close minor seconds, um, major seconds, when the intervals are tight um, and, and you hear that dissonance, just take the tuner out, check it, make sure you're comfortable where you're setting, uh, where your embouchure is set when you're playing, then you can mimic that when you play the piece. Uh, so I think that would, that would help you uh, with that as your season goes on. And uh, again, I want to congratulate you guys for getting everything together in this time. Um, it's really a tribute to your uh, dedication to jazz. And uh, I can tell by the, the charts you're playing and, you know, your performances. Uh, talk about soloing. I think Nick was the Barry player. He was my favorite in there. He's You're the one that I think you should be, I don't know what grade you're in or not, but um, to perpetuate other soloists too, that, that showed me the inventiveness of turnarounds in your sound and things like that. I would like to hear more from that of that kind of thing from um, more of the soloists in there, especially um, even though you have substitute changes in, in Take the A Train. Um, it's still, you know, a quote maybe in there would be good uh, for some of those things for, for some of the other soloists. But um, that... that uh, the soloing thing is something you just have to work on as much as you do ensemble. If you're going to compete with the best bands in the, in the country, um, and you guys have the program for that, your director's done a great job selecting the uh, literature. Uh, I mean, Alone Together, you know, the, the Kettens, uh, Bob Kernow arrangement is there. So I wasn't familiar with, I think your third tune was Vortex, uh, I wasn't familiar with that one, but I liked it, and, and it offered a variety in your in your performances uh, for you. So each of those has different aspects of soloing that you have to approach as um, carefully as you do your ensemble parts and learning the rhythms and the notes. One suggestion is sit at the piano, play the chords in your key at the piano, right? Dizzy Gillespie taught me that, and... So you don't play them in concert key at the piano, you play them. And those, even if you play them with two fingers or three fingers for the chord, um, you're getting to know those landing tones. So you play this nice lick that you make up or you, you've transcribed, hopefully, and, and studied from s songs from players that you could name, right? Um, you know, do you have a repertoire of famous players that you listen to? That, okay, well, Randy Brecker, I'm a trumpet player, Randy Brecker played... Um, a really neat solo and in the style of, uh, of Baylock's um, Take the A-Train. So, I mean, I might be able to use some of those sounds that he used. And you don't have to do the whole, transcribe the whole solo. That's a long time. Just transcribe the licks you like from it, and then that'll, uh, that'll help with your soloing. Um, and I think that would improve, uh, help you guys prove your, your, your ranking in the, in the country uh, with those things. Alone together, I, I like the bone thing. It was really nice and uh, well done um, on there. And fit your band very well. It's well chosen. Uh, the level of difficulty, again, challenging. You know, you guys are right up there with the, the rest of the bands that are in that um, upper echelon. It's just going to come down to, you know, how... How you perform it and how it how it comes across together as far as even interpretation skills and your um, uh, articulation. Uh, I wrote one thing I wrote is you, you, be careful of clarity at the ends of your uh, lines. So you play this great line, a great this great line. Make sure the end is tight and that it's interpreted 
directly throughout the ensemble. One thing I like to do is I do, um, you know, if I do clinics with groups, is I'll start with the one player that says, who can play this right? Okay, so let's say Nick can play it right. So Nick, you play that, play that line. And at the end, we're listening for tonguing, slurring, inflection, pitch, and all those things. You know, we can listen one at a time as he plays it, right? Okay, we're going to listen for slurring and tonguing. Okay. So, all right, now let's have the second tenor play it. All right. Does that sound like what Nick played? What's different about it? Okay, let's fix that. Okay, now, Nick, you play it, and then the tenor player plays it with Nick. So I'm layering player upon player upon player of that, and I think that would um, clean up a lot of your uh, articulations and at the and make sure that at the end of it, at the end of each phrase, that you guys are very very pristine on that. Okay. Um, I had some uh, comments here about um, see if I can get them up about dynamics too and balance. Oh, I have I have the comments that I have here about uh, fortissimo on um, your on, on your fortissimo overall balance is remarkably good. On fortissimo, make sure you're not overblowing the lead player. So if I'm in a section, I want to I want to be able to be within sideways listening to the middle of the band, which is my lead trumpet, my lead bone, and my lead sax with that. Um, so on fortissimos, listen to the middle and balance to the middle. Just under, not on top of the lead player, uh, wherever they are, whatever that is. And you can do that, work on that in sectionals too with that. If there's anything I can do, just contact me at uh, www.orchestras.com, Wilbur, W-A-L-B-U-R. I've got a lot of materials and things. If I can, I can put you up into the cloud and send you plenty of charts and things if you wanted to sample or discuss some things or you needed a conductor score or part you're missing anything anything i can do to help you that's what we're here for congratulations mm -hmm.